play my song Mombasa, um, I like to go into like a, a drum and percussion solo. You, you won't get the full effect of it here because I'm only playing through a little amp. But when you put this sound through a big PA, it really does sound like a drummer and a, and a percussionist playing together. And you just get these patterns going. <coughs> and I also sometimes use a plastic brush like that. <laughs> right. Now there's a microphone inside here. I'll show you. Hello, testing, testing. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Maxwell Smart in his shoe, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so there's a mic in there, and it's I, I drive it at it's on 10. If it went to 11, I'd put it there. <laughs> <laughs> so my pickup is on 10, my microphone is on 10, you know. And that's how I get the sound. I drive this thing like a Ferrari. And um, so then I go looking for different sounds, right? So you've got, um, you've got... You've got those sounds, then you've got... These. Right, and then you've got... So, you got those uh, di different kind of sounds there. Then you've got different different patterns. For instance, here's a, here's a basic pattern that you can then embellish by using extra notes. There's four on the four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Now, with my left hand, I'll play three over four. here like this. They're, they're just drum patterns that I stole from people like Steve Gatt, you know. <laughs> That's what they are. So. drummer's patterns because I'm a drummer who plays the guitar. <laughs> so my, my instruments are the drums, the bass and the guitar. They're my three main instruments. So I just use those kind of patterns on there, you know. Then you get... Yo! <laughs> I just, I, 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 when you put that in a PA, it really has a tack, you know. You, you hit the strings like that. It sounds like a bunch of horns j jumping out, you know. So they're just patterns that I use, you know. And um, they're, they're, there's an endless supply of them, you know. There's all different kinds. But I also like playing like, like a cowbell part up here, which sounds really, really good. Let me get it done. Up here. So getting that... what I'm doing, you know, the, the, and that seems to work in the context of Mombasa, you know, but then what they really are are drummers things, they're real drum parts that I put on here, so, and, um, you know, I'm trying to invent new stuff all the time, you know, because some PAs in some rooms have different frequencies on the stage, and I can really get a, a sound of a bongo and a conga, and the real bass drum sound, and all that stuff, you can get it with the right amount of amplification and speakers and all that kind of stuff, you know. So is yes, that what you work out during the sound checks and stuff like that? Hmm? Is that what you work out during like your sound checks? Um, um, I, I listen to what's going on at sound check, you know, and then and we we drive the PA up to where I think it should be, and we kind of start from there, you know, and I get a feeling for it because it always changes when the people come in the room. You know, it's always different. Yeah. Some places, like when you play a two thousand seater hall, it'll just sound like it's echoing everywhere. When the room's full of people, it sounds perfect. You know, so you have to do a sound check and play knowing that, you know. One of the worst 
uh, offenders f for that is the big main hall in, uh, called the Concert Gebouw in Amsterdam. It's a beautiful hall and I love playing that and the sound is amazing. But sound check is almost a waste of time because it just sounds like someone's put too much reverb on you <coughs> the whole time. It's just echoing everywhere. But the moment the hall is full of people, it sounds perfect. You know, so. Anyway.